Hi, welcome to Alpha Star Corporation. My name is Harsh Bait, and today I'm going to present MCQ Chart Genova Advanced Chart Fiber Composite. Chart fiber has been vastly used in auto industry as well as other industry as well. So it is required to have a very excellent material model so that that can be used for structural analysis. The agenda for today's meeting is MCQ Chart Genova Overview and Capabilities, Orientation Tensor Mapping, MCQ Chart Validation, and Genova FEA Validation. Starting with the first agenda, MCQ Chart Genova Overview and Capabilities. The object objective here is we're going to sh show the steps taken towards analysis by Alpha Star Corporation. Number one is we characterize material properties using MCQ Chart. And these are the typical inputs and these are the typical outputs. And number two, we generate a fee user defined material card in MCQ chart, which can be applied into uh, the corresponding ply layouts for FE models. And at the end, we perform durability and damage tolerance using multi scale progressive error analysis. This slide shows a pictorial view of integrated material instruction analysis with FE solver. As on the left, you can see the MCQ chopped material characterization, which has been validated. And then this material model has been used in the FE model to perform structural analysis. Here, as you can see here, two different type of structural analysis has been shown. Number one is the impact analysis, and number two is a three-point bending test. And as you can see here, for the impact analysis, the elements had been broken into different plies and as you can see the red color here represents the damage that occurs in this ply, different plies. So this is a very detailed progressive failure analysis where one can view ply by ply damages and understand what type of damages happens and what, how much of this damage is, what type of damage is contributing in each ply and how much is the contribution is. Next, also in the material model, we can introduce manufacturing variable and defects. For example, waviness, interface, agglomeration, and random randomness. So these are the different manu manufacturing variables and defects that can be introduced in the material model using MCQ chart. The validation data bank of MCQ chart is shown here, where there are different type of chart fibers being used. For example, elastomore, thermoplastic, and thermoset. These have been validated, and these examples are um, uh, these examples are in MCQ chart software. Other uh, uh, MC, uh, chart fibers are also validated. For example, mu cell foam polymers and some nano composites. The MCQ chart capabilities are following: chart mechanics, orientation, tensor distribution. Chart characterization, material nonlinearity, align layer nonlinearity, progressive failure, design failure envelope, parametric carpet plot, material uncertainty, and fatigue analysis. So these are the different models available in MCQ chart software. Next, I'm going to talk about orientation tensor mapping. Orientation tensor mapping is you have a donor mesh, which is an unstructural mesh, and the orientation tensor information is available for this donor mesh. And this information is mapped into a structural mesh. For example, this is a shell part, which will be remapped and extruded to non-uniform solid uh, element. As you can see here, the non-uniform solid element distribution through thickness. So the orientation information from this from this non-structural donor mesh is mapped to a structural receiver mesh. And as you can see here, there's a good match between the donor mesh and the receiver mesh. And in this next slide, the validation of uh, one of the orientation tensor component is shown through layers, so there's six layers for the donor mesh and the receiver mesh, and as you can see, they are pretty comparable. Other uh, orientation tensor can be also, uh, are all, uh, can can the same comparison can be also shown for other orientation tensors as well. The orientation tensor in the receiver mesh is used to create uh, the reverse engineer uh, 
layup in each element and it is performed using through these two step here step one is uh, obtain orientation stiffness from align layer stiffness properties and step two is generate layups using align layer ply such that it satisfies orientate E11 and E22 within threshold. So in other words is the orientation tensor in the map structure is used to generate the oriented stiffness and the E11 E22 from the orientation stiffness is used along with the align layer properties to generate the orientation through thickness layup for each element. This is for the high fidelity model as you can see here from element 1 through 6 along through the thickness. And in order to generate the low fidelity model, this high fidelity solid model can be squeezed into one shell element with all these plies stacked together. Typical example for validation I'm secret chop is shown next. For example, this is a PBT GF20 thermoplastic. The typical input is fiber properties, vendor provided matrix properties, and particle properties. For fiber properties, generally we need density, modulus, Poisson's ratio, and strength. And for matrix, we need similar properties. For particle properties, we need to know what type of, what's the shape of the fiber is, type of fiber. It could be straight, it could be wavy in order to introduce manufacturing defects. We need to know the void volume fracture if it is uh, required. The volume fraction, length, width, uh, you can also have dispersion, uniform, non-uniform, and also you can introduce agglomeration if required. This is a typical input for, uh, for, for MCQ chopped software. And the typical output is the aligned layer material properties, which is the modulus, Poisson's ratio, and the strength. So given the aligned layer properties, and given the modulus E11 flow and E11 cross, e, 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 E22 cross flow, uh, one can also generate a, a reverse engineer layup such that it will satisfy E11, E22, these two values within the 5% from the aligned layer ply properties. We can also introduce nonlinearity given the test stress strength curve. We can reverse engineer aligned layer stress strength curve as well using MCQ chop software. And this is a validation of flow and cross flow and 45 degrees between test and MCQ chopped generated stress strain curve. This is another validation of orientation distribution through thickness for comparing with test and MCQ generated orientation tensor through thickness. Next is Genova FEA validation. This is for a three-point bending test. Since this test cannot be performed in MCQ chopped, so a finite element model is created to perform the three-point bending test using the MCQ chopped generated material model. And here it shows a good comparison between the flow and cross flow load displacement curve between test and MCQ chopped generated load displacement curve. M M Genova generated load displacement curve using MCQ chopped material model. And this is a detailed progressive field analysis, a detailed uh, damage as you can see here. The red is the damage region and you can go through ply by ply again what type of damage is being occurred, where it occurs and how much percent it is contributing to these different plies. And for more information, comments or interest in this MCQ chopped and Genova package, please contact Dr. Rashid Miraj who can be contacted at 1562-961-7827 and rmiraj at alphastarcorp.com. Thank you very much for watching this presentation.